Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel, we are targeting the exam of civil services. And for that purpose, we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video, we will be talking about the current affairs of 21st August that is today. So let's see what are the current affairs. So these current affairs that we are discussing, they are uploaded on our website. So if you want to read them in detail, then you can visit our website, the link of which is shown on your screen uh, at the top, this link. So let's see uh, that uh, the current affairs of today. So the first current affair is from your and culture part that is uh, the, the the topic that comes under your first gs paper gs paper one so recently uh, prime minister greeted people on prakash purab utsav uh, of the holy book guru granth sahib so prakash purab is basically uh, this utsav is celebrated to mark the installation of guru granth sahib in harmandar sahib which is also known by the name golden temple and it was first in installed in in harmandar sahib in 1604 so what uh, uh, what is guru granth sahib it is basically a religious scripture a sacred religious book of six and uh, it is regarded by them as the final sovereign and eternal living guru so uh, let me tell you friends that the fifth guru of six that is guru arjun dev ji uh, compiled it uh, if, uh, and and uh, it, it was called first it was called adi granth later on the 10th guru that is guru gobind singh added the hymns of the ninth guru that is uh, that is uh, her uh, uh, his his father into the into adi granth and uh, the, the the new book that is the new compiled version came to be known as uh, Guru Granth Sahib because uh, guru, uh, the tenth Guru uh, uh, declared it to be the final and eternal living Guru of the six. So it is uh, basically uh, uh, the written in Gurmukhi script. So please uh, note this. This is very important. So such type of questions are asked in UPSC often. So you must know uh, that in which script it has been written. So in Gurmukhi script it has been written. So uh, also sometimes it is referred to as Adi Granth. But though Adi Granth is different from Guru Granth Sahib because uh, in Adi Granth the, uh, the hymns of uh, first five Gurus are there. And in the uh, Guru Granth Sahib the hymns of five, first five Gurus including the ninth guru uh, uh, guru's hymns are also there now let's move on to the second current affair of today that is gs paper that is part of your gs paper 2 water resources so the chief ministers of andhra pradesh and uh, odisha recently uh, they will they will be holding talks on uh, with regard to the sharing of vamsadhara river waters so andhra pradesh basically wants to build uh, build a bridge across the river and it can be possible only through odisha's consent so in this context this uh, this river becomes important that is vamsadhara river what uh, it is basically an east flowing river and uh, it drains into Bay of Bengal. Uh, so it originates in Kalahandi district of uh, Odisha and flows in Odisha along its boundary with Andhra Pradesh. So it is the main river of northeastern Andhra region and then it meets uh, uh, Bay of Bengal at Kalinga Patnam, Andhra Pradesh. Now let's move on to the next current affair. Next is next, next current affair is from your GS paper 2 and the topic is uh, education. So recently Union Cabinet has approved the formation of National Recruitment Agency. So Re National Recruitment Agency has been created. So it is basically a reform in the recruitment process uh, for central government jobs. So this multi-agency body has been created uh, uh, for the purpose of conducting uh, common eligibility test. That is CET to various uh, uh, to various posts that is central government posts of uh, B and C grade but, uh, and, th and uh, those posts that are non-technical. Uh, so basically uh, what this uh, uh, agency will be doing it will be screening or shortlisting candidates for group b and c non-technical posts so various representatives are there uh, because uh, multiple uh, agencies uh, will be then uh, now uh, 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 giving their work to this agency so obviously representatives of all those uh, uh, earlier recruitment boards uh, will be there in this uh, new agency for example of ministry of railways ministry of finance department of financial services and then ssc rrb ibps 
so it will be conducting a separate CET test for each uh, for the three uh, for e each for the three levels of graduate higher secondary and matriculate candidates please note that friends that uh, the common eligibility test it board will not be a single test all the three levels will have symbol uh, uh, separate test uh, separate test common uh, separate common eligibility test and this common eligibility test will only be for uh, non technical posts and not for technical posts and uh, uh, non technical posts in grade b and grade c so this is uh, about your this current affair let's move on to the next current affair next current affair is your uh, uh, relating to gs paper 3 economy so national uh, uh, thermal power corporation you might be knowing about this uh, limited that it is a central uh, public sector undertaking under the Ministry of Power uh, uh, it is in the news that it will be able to reduce its transportation cost of the coal to fuel to its uh, NTPC Kudgi super thermal power station which is in Karnataka so because uh, a, a bridge has been constructed by South Southwestern Railway which cut short the distance and the transportation cost of the uh, coal as a fuel will be reduced so Kudgi super power Power thermal power station is uh, is 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 basically uh, in Karnataka. So this is one of the coal-based thermal power plants of NTPC Limited, and water source uh, uh, to uh, to this uh, power station comes from reservoir of Almati Dam, that is uh, which is which has been constructed on Krishna River. Now let's move on to the next current affair. Next current affair is also from your GS Paper Three Economy part. So uh, recently. Uh, 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 you might be knowing about that uh, National Productivity Council. Sorry for that. Uh, I forgot to mention the headline. So National Productive Council, it is basically an autonomous body under the Department for Promotion of Industry and in, uh, Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So it was uh, established as a national level organization in 1958 to promote productivity culture in India. So it was recently in news. That's why this, uh, uh, this body has the details about this uh, National Productivity Council have been included in uh, today's current affairs. So it is an autonomous multi petite and non-profit organization registered as a society under the Society's Registration Act 21 of uh, 1860. So it is a constituent of, a, of Tokyo based Asian Productivity Organization which is an intergovernmental body of which the government of India is a founder member. Now let's move to the next current affair of the day that is uh, GS Paper 3 and Science and Technology is the topic. So, National Research Development Co Corporation and uh, your Council of Scientific and Industrial Research Laboratory that is National Aerospace Laboratories have uh, both have joined hands to establish Innovation Come Incub Incubation Center uh, with external private funding uh, which will be uh, which will be uh, used to promote startup uh, startups in the field of aerospace technology. So, both these bodies that is National Research Development Corporation and your National Aerospace Laboratory they have joined hand to uh, to to support uh, uh, startups in the field of aerospace technology so innovation come incubation support will be there so they will be in uh, uh, these startups uh, in in the area of aerospace engineering they will be incubated mentored as well as supported for product and prototype development as well as their validation so national aerospace laboratories it is uh, one of the labor laboratories of uh, uh, this council of scientific and industrial research so it is largest aerospace firm so it was established by the CSIR in uh, uh, in 1959 at Delhi but now its headquarters are in uh, Bangalore so its headquarters were moved to Bangalore in, in 1960 so Bangalore is in Karnataka now let's move to the uh, uh, what is then uh, again one more agency is there that is National Research Development Corporation so it is uh, established it was established by government of India in 1953 to promote the technologies from various national R&D institutions. So it is presently working under the administrative control of Department of Science, Scientific and Industrial Research, Ministry of Science and Technology. Now let's move to the next current affair. Next current affair is your part of GS paper 3 and the topic is environment conservation. So recently researchers have observed that uh, deep sea hotspots of biodiversity, they are also likely to be micro microplastic hotspots. So uh, you might be knowing that a uh, lot of industrial waste and other types of waste get uh, uh, drains into oceans because ultimately the river, uh, the waste draw, uh, drain into rivers and the rivers uh, 
finally uh, uh, drain into oceans so the microplast uh, the plastic which we are using uh, generates uh, microplastic uh, it may be generated uh, uh, through wear and tear and through uh, through other uh, through special products as well so research have found that uh, the microplastics could be also be concentrated in the uh, deep sea biodiversity hotspots which is a cause of concern so uh, basically microplastics are uh, what are microplastics they are uh, small particles of plastic that are uh, that the of size less than 5 mm please note that it is very important such type of questions uh, sometime upsc has the habit to ask so less than 5 mm is if if the size size of a, a plastic particle is less than 5 mm then it can be classified as microplastic so it include micro beads uh, that that uh, that that are used in cosmetic industry and uh, then uh, uh, comes here other industrial scrubbers which are used for aggressive blast cleaning Mic micro fibers used in textiles and virgin resin pellets used in plastic manufacturing processes so apart from cosmetics and personal care products uh, also microplastic forms when uh, large pieces of uh, plastic uh, are uh, broken and they are not recycled but they broke up due to exposure to the sun or physical wear so uh, what the, what is the effect of uh, these microplastics uh, on on uh, the aquatic wildlife basically they they damage they block the digestive tracts of these uh, uh, aquatic uh, life and then uh, alter their feeding behavior as well as subsequently reducing their growth and uh, reproductive patterns uh, in in marine animals so now a question might come in your mind that what is deep sea so deep sea is basically the lowest layer of the in the ocean below the thermocline so uh, but above the seabed so seabed is the ground portion of the uh, your uh, uh, ocean and then comes your deep sea and then comes your thermocline then uh, your uh, turbulent layer that is uh, uh, the top layer which you see so it is it just uh, this deep sea exists just below the thermocline and above the seabed at a depth of 100 fathoms or more so fathom is basically a unit of length equal to 6 feet or 1.8 meters so thermocline is is a thin but distinct layer in large body of fluid in which temperature changes more rapidly with depth than it does in layers above or below so uh, what 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 does thermocline mean it is basically a thin layer that is there in the ocean or some fluid below which the temperature of that fluid changes rapidly as compared to the layers that are above thermocline so in the uh, ocean basically thermocline divides this uh, uh, upper mixed mixed layer and the uh, from the calm uh, deep water below that exists now let's come to the next current affair and it is basically a fact for prelims uh, so fact uh, so let's see what is the current affair so union uh, hrd minister launched world's first ever bsc degree in programming and data science so recently this has been uh, uh, launched by Indian Institute of Technology Madras so the course has been prepared and offered by IIT Madras and uh, which which has been ranked which is ranked number number one in Indian rankings 2020 by National Institution ranking framework so uh, it basically the program will have videos faculty weekly assignments and then in person in vigilated exams just like any other regular course so the program is open to anyone who has who has passed 12th class with English and maths at the class 10th level and also uh, those who have enrolled in any on-campus undergraduate course so also the persons uh, uh, who are graduate as well as working professionals can also join this program so you might you must be knowing that uh, this uh, data related and uh, data science is one of the fastest growing sectors and it is expected that it will create 11.5 million jobs by 2022 so these are the current affairs of today friends so if you like these current affairs then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and this uh, and if you want to read these current affairs in detail then you can visit our website wherein uh, uh, the, the link of which is shown on your screen uh, at the top so you can visit this uh, website as well as uh, uh, through uh, through the, on this website you can enroll for various test series that we are offering for your 
सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एज वेल एज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस लक्ष्य कोर्स वी आर ऑफरिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन विच इज़ अ ईयर लॉन्ग हैंड होल्डिंग प्रोग्राम बाई अचीव आई एस फॉर सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन विच वी आर कंडक्टिंग फोर्टी फोर फुल लेंथ टेस्ट कंप्राइजिंग नाइनटीन सेक्शनल टेस्ट इलेवन करंट अफेयर टेस्ट नाइन रिविजन टेस्ट एंड फाइव कंप्लीट जी एस टेस्ट तो स्पेशल फोकस विल बी ऑन एन सी आर टी स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स रेफरेंस बुक्स लाइक तमिलनाडु बोर्ड बुक्स सी सी आर टी वेबसाइट इकनॉमिक सर्वे एंड ऑल्सो दैन कवरेज विल बी देयर ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विल ऑल्सो बी देयर एंड करंट अफेयर ऑफ पास्ट ट्वेल्व मंथस विल बी कवर्ड सो अदर कोर्सेज इन विच यू माइट बी इंटरेस्टेड आर शोन ऑन यूर स्क्रीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन सी आर टी टेस्ट सीरीज स्टैंडर्ड बुक एम सी क्यू कोर्सेज एन सी आर टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड बुक एम सी क्यू कोर्सेज इन विच वट वी डू वी कवर यूर एन सी आर टी थ्रू डे वाइज एंड चैप्टर वाइज टारगेट सो वट यू गेट यू गेट अ प्लान यू गेट अ टाइम टेबल एज पर विच यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर एंड यूजिंग दैट टाइम टेबल देन यू कैन एनालाइज यूर परफॉर्मेंस बाई अटेम्प्टिंग द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दैट टारगेट सो इट इज बेसिकली इट इंश्योर्स दैट यू गेट द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम 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 द टॉपिक दैट यू रीड दिस दिस विल हेल्प यू इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम यू पी एस सी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड वट इज नॉट सो सीरीज आर क्वाइट अफोर्डेबल बिकॉज वी आर ऑफरिंग यू डिजिटल सर्विसेज सो सटनली वी आर नॉट ऑफ दैट कैटेगरी इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट हु विल चार्ज यू यू एक्सॉर्बिटेंट अमाउंट ऑफ money so then other test series we have and then you can also join our individual subjects for example history and crt cc leong mcq series art and culture by nitin singhania science and crt from class 6 to 10th and then economy and crt mcq series geography and crt series so all these courses are there you can visit our website and can check them in detail and can enroll for any course if uh, in case uh, you think that they may benefit you because ultimately we have prepared these courses for you people only and it Will, they will certainly help you in uh, analyzing your prof performance so friends this is all about today's video and if you liked it do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead